Hi, I'm Mallory Lowe. In this class, we're going to look at the question, what is multiculturalism? And I'm going to examine five different factors of the broad field of multiculturalism. Firstly, it's a social fact. Secondly, multiculturalism as an ideology. Thirdly, as a way of understanding differences. Fourth, as a necessity. And finally, multiculturalism as a process. To take the first of those, multiculturalism is a social fact. In today's world, there is probably no society untouched by diversity. Every society in today's globalised world has diversity in some form or other, some to a greater extent than others. Multiculturalism is really the means by which that diversity becomes manifest, that how we live with that differences, through the other factors of multiculturalism that I'll discuss um, in a minute. Now, we could ask a question, what makes a society multicultural? And if it's purely in terms of numbers, how much diversity makes multiculturalism? Is there, is there a factor? Is there, is there a number? Is it 1% of the population are diverse? 5%, 20%, 50% or more? It's, it's a difficult question to answer, and I would argue that there is no single factor, that diversity is largely more about perceptions and actual practice of diversity, rather than counting the numbers of people who are different or the same. And as I said, most societies today are diverse, have diversity factored into them to some scale or other. Secondly, multiculturalism is very often an ideology it doesn't necessarily mean that this is all there is to multiculturalism, but ideology, multiculturalism as an ideology, as a political process, very often is about trying to redress or, or balance up the needs, the conflicting needs of different groups, of different, uh, different ethnicities, different races and religions within um, multicultural society. It's very often about social justice, about um, trying to favour um, all parties, but in particular the minority groups, particularly dis disadvantaged and disenfranchised uh, minority groups. It's a response to diversity by welcoming that diversity and also recognising that the minorities are very often at a disadvantage against the majorities. When I come on to talk about the, the seeming death of multiculturalism, it's very often the ideology of multiculturalism in practice that people refer to as having died. Um, as I say, this is not the case. There is plenty of political or ideological multiculturalism still present in today's world. Thirdly, multiculturalism is a way of understanding differences. Differences are there. We need to try and understand them as well as we can in order that we can live with those differences more effectively. As a scholar, it's important to understand differences and to understand how people see those differences. It's a, a form of study, an academic study of multiculturalism, and it helps us to live more effectively with the differences by understanding them. But the understanding of differences between each other, between ourselves, within a multicultural society, also happens on the individual level, between people within society. There is a sense a popular multiculturalism as people try to understand each other, for better or for worse. And uh, as I'll come on to talk about, education is a very important means by which we can try to understand understand each other a little bit better, and so live with each other a little bit better. Fourthly, multiculturalism is a necessity. It's a fact that we have to live with and try and manage as well as we can. And for me, one of the most important elements of the study of multiculturalism, and also the practice of multiculturalism, is the state management of differences. The nation state needs to manage the differences between the various groups, the identity groups, the cultural groups, the religious groups. And this may involve a certain ideology of multiculturalism, but it's a more pragmatic approach I'm talking to. Every state, whether it's ideologically multicultural or not, does need to manage differences so that the various people within a society can live with each other at peace. The state management of difference is an important part of the necessity of multiculturalism. And finally, I would argue that multiculturalism is a process. 
Each manifestation, each experience of multiculturalism, of diversity, is particular to the society that we see. That each society has its own history of how it came to be diverse and plural. Each society has its own particular cultural responses to difference. The mix of multiculturalism is particular to society, to a society, as of course is the history of how that, that occurred. We have to understand that particular context, what works within a particular society to make multiculturalism uh, more peaceful, more effective, might not work in another society. We have to understand those processes, and those processes change over time. And our understanding of multiculturalism needs to look at the historic view up to the present day, but also in the future to make sure that the multiculturalism continues to work effectively, the society continues to be at peace with itself. So in conclusion for this class, there are five particular aspects of what we can say multiculturalism is about. It's a social fact, an ideology, a way of understanding differences, a necessity, and a process.